Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Advice to Think Twice. My name is Monica and I'm here with your March forecast. This is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising signs. As always, please remember these are general, that means they don't apply to everyone. Um, watch your Moon and Rising sign readings for additional messages that may apply to you. Uh, you can watch your yearly forecast to see what was coming up for you in March as additional insight. Um, but other than that, just keep an open mind and um, enjoy your reading. Okay, so let's have a look at what's coming up for you here, Sagittarius. You have quite a few major arcana cards uh, between the beginning of the month and um, mid-month. So there may be a bit of a, an intense time for you, either dealing with a lot or being under pressure or just feeling it um, like uneasy energy, okay? Um, at the bottom of the deck is your overall energy. We do have the Page of Wands. So with the Page of Wands, this is about, for some this is about uh, looking at traveling, looking at changing your job, applying. Um, this is about sending out communication, messages, talking to someone online, um, inviting someone to um, be with you, work with you, um, learn with you, anything like that, okay? Um, the Page of Wands is also telling you that you're ready for a change, you want a change, um, you want to try new experiences, go to new places, meet new people, you really want to make a change in your life, okay? And you're feeling inspired and you're feeling creative and you're feeling excited about welcoming new energy in your life new experiences okay in your current situation we have the strength card so with the strength card i feel that this talks about the fact that you may feel like you're under someone else's control um, or you have to play by the rules or you have to be patient or it, there's a feeling of I have to contain myself. I have to be patient. I can't do that. I can't say that right now. I have to be patient. So either you're waiting for something or you're planning something and you're trying not to get ahead of yourself with this energy um, or you're involved in power struggle situations or you're involved with um, controlling people and that's why you're looking at changing that. Okay. Um, especially if you're dealing with a, a Leo sign, whether that's their sun sign, their moon sign, or their rising sign. Because the challenge, the challenge is the devil. So with the devil card, this talks about, again, control issues, power struggles, being with um, around a manipulative person, a controlling person, a jealous person, a possessive person. Um, and it's a situation where you feel like your hands are tied. Um, I do feel that you are butting heads a lot okay this is a lot of power struggles a lot of tension conflict but again i feel that with the devil card in the challenge position and the strength card in your current situation you can handle the situation and you're trying to take your time to either make a clean break or if it's a job situation to find a new job before you quit this job or if it's in a relationship to a situation to get yourself sorted first to have a place to go to have someone to help you out or anything like that before you actually have the conversation um so you're planning something you're planning something you're thinking about it and you're trying to not get ahead of yourself with it okay you may also be dealing with a capricorn individual who is very possessive, very jealous, overbearing, controlling, and you've already withdrawn emotionally from that situation. You've already d detached from it. In the foundation for why things are this way, we have the Six of Swords. It's because you want peace, you want balance, you want um, just calm, harmony in your life. You're tired of the uh, power games and mind games and control issues and possessiveness and you've been wanting to move on for quite some time okay um, and I feel that you're you're working on something and you need to kind of pace yourself so that you do everything at the right time okay so you do it properly um, if this is in a marriage situation then the page of wands is you thinking about your children or you thinking about um, just your independence okay um, and getting your power back in the past, we have the Hierophant. 
So with the Hierophant in the past, again, you may be looking at leaving a marriage or you may be looking at leaving a committed relationship or you're looking at leaving a job within a uh, big corporation, institution, uh, something that is a long-term commitment for you. Um, even the family business with this energy, okay? Especially if you're dealing with a family member who is overbearing and they want things done the way they want things done and they are not willing to negotiate or take on um, anyone else's views. Um, but this is about a situation that has become very predictable, very routine, very boring, and it's starting to drain you because you need to be able to, to be creative. You need to be able to have that freedom. You need to be able to um, try different things and this does not allow you to do that. So whatever this is, that is a, a commitment in your life, it's holding you back and it keeps telling you, you have to do this, you have to do this, you have to do this. And that's why you're looking at breaking free from that, okay? In your crowning thoughts, we have the Ten of Swords. So with the Ten of Swords, you want to move on. You're ready to go. Um, you're ready to not be a victim anymore. You're ready to not be, you know, um, taken for granted anymore. You're ready to um, come into your power with this. Ready to move on. This is a situation that has ended already, at least for you emotionally. You have not been a part of the situation in a long time. Um, and so this is just making it official formalizing your decision, so um, filing for divorce, uh, submitting that letter of resignation, whatever, in whichever way this applies, whatever the sending is, okay? But you've been thinking about it for quite some time. And emotionally you've detached, mentally you've detached, you just need to physically get yourself out of it, okay, with this energy. In the near future, we do have the emperor. So around mid-month, I feel for a lot of you, this is you, where you are coming into your power, you are taking your power back and saying, okay, this is what is happening. This is also coming up as independence um, and establishing new ground rules for yourself, new foundations. You're calling the shots for yourself at this time. For some, I feel that you may be walking away from a job and starting your own business or walking away from a job and just fully focusing on your own business or this is where you get to come into a new job around mid-month. This could be the interview stage or this is where you actually get the job, okay? And it's a much better role. You are a supervisor, you're a manager, you're someone with um, authority, you're someone with power of decision with this energy. It's a standalone role. It's a role where you are just trusted to do your work. There's no one watching you and looking over your shoulder all the time. Um, this could also be going to Institute an institution to formalize things, okay, with the emperor. So going to court, going to whatever, however this applies, okay. Um, in the position representing you and how you see yourself, we have the Ace of Pentacles. So with the Ace of Pentacles, this is you thinking about everything that you have to offer and everything that you want to do and everything that you actually want to be investing in. Um, the Ace of Pentacles is, is about you starting a new job. It could be around mid-month going into the third week. This is a new beginning for you, a new opportunity presented to you. It can be a new job. It can be um, a new home. It can be financial support for you. It can be legal compensation in, in whichever way. Um, legal, no, not legal compensation, financial compensation I was trying to say from a legal situation, okay? that is coming to you because you deserve that. Um, this is also financial help coming your way. This is new homes, new property, new assets, investing in, in a home, investing in a new living situation. Um, And for some, this is where you are now making different decisions because you find out you're pregnant or because you decide you want to start a family soon. And so you just need to make different decisions because you have to be in a better job in order to do that, okay? In your environment, we have the Eight of Wands. So with the Eight of Wands, I feel that um, once you reach the third week um, of the month, things will start to pick up. Um, this is great news coming your way, wonderful feedback, new opportunities, opportunities to travel, 
invitations in terms of social life invitations to date if that's what you want to do multiple opportunities for study for training for professional growth keeping yourself busy this is also a lot of creativity that is sparked so joining a new club starting a new hobby going back to your hobbies but this is fast-paced energy it's it's very positive energy it's very constructive energy it keeps sparking your creativity and feeding it back into it okay um, and again you just get good news after good news after good news okay is, is what I'm getting here once you get yourself out of a situation and you start calling the shots for yourself things just take off in your hopes and fears we have the page of swords so with the page of swords in your hopes and fears and the ten of swords in your thoughts you may be dealing with air sign energy as well so Gemini Libra or Aquarius if this is the person who is overbearing controlling manipulative okay with the devil energy there um, the fear is that this person might um, still have power over you or that this person might get inside your head and convince you to go back or convince you to um, again just do what they want you to do um, but the hope is that you will be able to speak your truth even if it means being blunt even if it means being um, brutal, brutally honest okay the hope is that you will be able to do that okay um, there's also an element of being hesitant because of uh, what other people might think but if that's the situation then you need to see yourself as the emperor you're making your own decisions you're doing what you know you need to do you're doing what you think is best for yourself and that's all you need to know you don't have to explain yourself you don't have to justify yourself you don't have to entertain anyone else okay you do you and in your outcome we do have the king of swords so with the King of Swords here in your outcome, this is legal win, something being finalized. Um, this is new contracts or um, new commitments or again, the end of a commitment being finalized and that's it, you're done. Um, again, any legal situation that you're a part of, um, anything that might get extended or delayed, towards the end of the month, you hear back and um, things go in your favor with this energy. For some, I also feel like you're trying to do the right thing. You're trying to do the right thing by, um, especially if this is, because it's, it's general, so you could be dealing with these energies yourself or someone else is seeing you in this way where they're seeing you as you know someone who was controlling or je jealous or possessive. Um, and for some, you're reaching out to this person uh, trying to make amends, okay? Um, but you're getting some significant communication coming in towards the end of the month to help you um, get back what is owed to you, to help you do uh, make things right or someone else making things right with you. It could even be someone asking for forgiveness, okay? Um, but the King of Swords is definitely talking about new rules that you are establishing for yourself and objective thinking and objective communication and the Knight of Swords. And you may also be looking at an air sign that's coming back into your life or trying to come back into your life or to challenge you or to pressure you um, or manipulate you in any way towards the end of the month because I feel that once you break away from them completely whether this is a boss or um, you know a difficult family member or someone you are involved with romantically um, I feel that as soon as you break yourself away from this person they will try to either get you back uh, get control over you once again or get inside your head to the point where they are trying to make you feel like you're not going to be okay on your own if that is the case stand up for yourself and don't hold your punches okay don't uh, what's the phrase don't pull your punches you need to tell this person exactly what they need to hear okay this is not a time for diplomacy this is a time for putting your foot down and if necessary taking legal action against them and your overall guidance we have the tor uh, tortoise 
you're fragmented or you're too fragmented. So do whatever it takes to get grounded. So with this, this is about slowing things down. This is about um, giving yourself a fresh start. You're too fragmented. You have been cut too many times. You have been um, pulled in too many pieces or broken into too many pieces. This is about getting yourself back on track, uh, pulling yourself back together, and changing course, okay? Getting yourself out of toxic relationships, toxic situations. Nice and easy wins the race. Don't let anyone pressure you. Don't let anyone get under your skin. Um, if someone is trying to be impossible, then it's okay to say goodbye to that person. Um, this is also about protecting yourself, keeping yourself safe, okay? That is paramount. And I feel that for a lot of you, it's also, it's um, in particular your mental health. So again, getting yourself out of abusive situations, toxic situations, anything that makes you feel not worthy that makes you feel like a victim that makes you feel like you're not good enough especially if this is someone else putting thoughts in your head or making you feel that way okay so this is about pulling yourself back together and putting that shell on protecting yourself okay but the law is by your side okay it's on your side sorry um if you have to get legal advice legal support take legal action okay um, if you have to, otherwise a stern conversation is going to be sufficient for others of you um, where you put your foot down and you put an end to it in a very clear way. Um, further, this is about, you know, it's just you're breaking yourself free from a, a situation, especially if it's about starting a new job and then you end the month with a lot of research, a lot of study, a lot of training, potentially traveling, okay, um, with this energy. And that's just what it is, okay? It doesn't have to be anything more than that. It's gonna be different for everyone, okay? So just take whatever makes sense to you and then just disregard the rest because if it doesn't apply, then it's not for you. Um, I would definitely watch your moon and rising sign readings and the readings of people that you're dealing with, maybe, okay? Um, but um, it is a good month because it gives you the opportunity to uh, end some very toxic situations in your life, take your power back and start focusing more on who you are and being happy and being free to be who you are, okay? So that's awesome. So let me know what this talks about for you, if it applies, um, but I hope that um, you have a good month um, and that you use the energy to your advantage to create the changes that you want to see happen in your life, okay? Take care of yourself, have a great month, and I'll talk to you again very soon. Bye for now.